Leo, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 23rd through the 29th. I can't believe we're already reaching the end of the month, ladies and gents. We're going into October. Let's get straight into this reading, ladies and gents. It's going to be a weekly love reading. Let's see what's going on with you. And what are the overall energies that you're going to be dealing with this last week of September? What are the prominent energies? that the lions are gonna be dealing with. We get two more shuffles. What are the overall energies that Leos are gonna be dealing with when it comes to matters of love? Call me Dr. Love. Ooh, the devil, the moon, could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, <clears throat> the world card, the nine of coins, and the fool. Well, it surely looks like there's some sort of breakup going on here, ladies and gents. It seems as if somebody here is moving on their merry way. All right, this is the way it looks. The world card, right? Turning their back on the past, beginning a new chapter with their own self and moving toward, boom, the full energy. So, could have been dealing with a very toxic situation, Leo, that you could be closing out. Moving towards your own independence. You're looking fine, you're looking good, is what I'm seeing here. All right, ladies and gents? Hmm, tell me more. What's going on here with Leo? I want to know about this world energy. What what took place here? The, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, this is a commitment. This is marriage. This is a, a relationship. But it doesn't seem like much is going on here in regards to this situation. The Hermit and the Four of Coins. All right, I hope you guys can see that. So, guys, something happened here in this relationship that led to an absolute silence, so it seems. All right. A silence between two individuals that could have been in an actual commitment. That's what it looks like to me. Hmm. Yeah, Nine of Cups came out. Eight of Cups. Eight to the Nine of Cups. Somebody here walked away from a relationship is what I'm saying here. Flat out. That's the conundrum. Somebody walked away from a situation what's going on here with the nine of coins what's going on here with the nine of coins leo let's look into this nine of coins <clears throat> why is the nine of coins here the ace of cups this is a brand new beginning that somebody's having with themselves all right but this this doesn't mean that you have, don't have potential suitors around you that are that are interested all right. In fact, let's see what's going on here. What's with this Ace of Cups? This could actually be an offer. It doesn't necessarily have to be any beginning with yourself. Wow. Four of Wands. What's going on here? What's going on? So I feel that, look, Three of Swords. This shit's coming back around. Flat out. That's what I'm seeing here, Leo. All right. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Nevertheless, here, whatever happened is coming back in full circle. It's like, there was a chapter that ensued between you and your person that could have just been left in silence. And all of a sudden, there's a new phase that's happening here in which an individual is finding independence or has found independence from the situation. They're focusing on themselves, focusing on their career, focusing on their own goodness. And sure enough, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords. This situation that was surrounded by a lot of turmoil seems to be coming back around. Wow. All right, let's look into this situation, shall we? What's going on here with the fool? Somebody here is acting a fool, ladies and gents. Page of coins, investment, investment into a relationship. All right, what is this? Investing into what? The ace of coins. Yeah, there's an offer coming forward here. There's an offer coming forward. The emperor here was at the bottom of the deck. This could be a masculine coming forward and taking initiative, ace of wands, taking initiative to bring forth a wheel of fortune, a turn of events. Hmm. Yeah, somebody here shooting their shot. They want a ten of coins. They see that nine of coins. They see that mighty fine individual, be a woman or man, looking independent, strong, all right, in their power after a transformation. And someone's like, no siree, that's my cake. Ain't no one taking a bite but me. King of Wands, this could be you. This could be you in pursuit of claiming that cake. Claiming that cake. Taking that cake off the Baskin Robinson shelf, ladies and gents. All right? I hope it's the top shelf, all right? I hope it ain't no bottom shelf cake either. 
There's a bunch of cheap people out there going in for the bottom shelf cuts. Nothing but the prime cuts. Let's see what's going on with Leo's energy and the energy towards their individual. What is Leo's energy towards whomever it is that they're connecting with? The Emperor, that is you. You are going for that goddamn top shelf prime cut, aren't you? As you already know, when there's caffeine around, things get dangerous. I'm going to get under your skin, so you might as well just leave now. All right? I'm going to start banging on the table till the table breaks. You already know. When we drink coffee around here, we drink like Vikings. All right, ladies and gents, let's see what's going on here with the emperor. This is you, all right? <clears throat> this is you coming in hot, ladies and gents. Knight of Wands, star card. Leo, look, man or woman doesn't matter, all right? Call it an emperance if it, if it makes you feel better. This is someone here that is taking initiative. This is someone here that is taking initiative, could very much be a woman in her masculine saying, dude, I want this guy. This is who I want, I, I, or a woman, who knows, all right? <clears throat> so, with that said, I see Leo in pursuit of whomever it is that they seem to look as a catch. That is what I'm seeing here. Star energy, Leo wants to heal. Sexual healing, possibly. Sexual healing, Ace of Wands, is that my confirmation? Like saying, yeah, buddy, you're right, sexual healing all the way. Let me know in the comments, you guys want sexual healing or are you guys not in there, not in that phase yet? All right, let's see. Uh, could be dealing with an Aquarius. Tell me more about Leo's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with. The devil. What did I say about that fucking lustful sexual energy? Yeah, your, your person's fine as hell. Let me tell you, whomever it is, ladies and gents, this person is high or rather hot commodity. That is what I'm seeing here, Leo. Damn, Leo's in pursuit. I know in the comments is gonna be like, no, they're pursuing me, I'm the hot commodity. You got the story wrong, okay, buddy. The saying you're reading that. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Well, roles may be reversed. You know, this is a general reading. Let me get some more wings here. I literally just banged that, that damn cannon and it fucking spilled everywhere. I gotta calm down with that shit. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna bring out my loving light and be a little more gentle around here. I know I got some Tinkerbells that are watching this. So, what's going on with the person that you're dealing with, Leo? What's going on with the person that Leo is dealing with? The Five of Wands, this individual ain't seeing eye to eye with you. Two of Swords, Nine of Swords? Damn, this person losing sleep? It sure looks like it. Let me tell you, this person is losing sleep. This person here is at a crossroad. They're in between worlds. And the reason being, the reason why they're so fucked up, you know, let me tell you why. Because they love you. They actually love you. They got a lot of feelings for you. And they're, they are compelled to put their guards up towards you, even though they got feelings for you. That's why they're so fucked up. All right, five of wands. Tell me more. What is what is this individual's energy towards Leo? The devil. I told you this individual is just yeah. I don't know this. I mean, I don't know the devil. Just we'll leave it there. The devil is all about attachment. It's just toxicity. So remember, the devil is just the dark side of the lovers, right? You got card number fifteen. The devil. One plus five equals six, which is the lovers. So there's love here, most certainly, but there's the there's a toxic side of love that is. Keeping this individual attached and bound uh, to you, Leo. All right. Believe me, if they didn't love you, the devil is just. The, if they didn't love you, the devil wouldn't be here. They wouldn't give a shit. They'd walk away from you. You wouldn't be in their mind, but you are heavily on their mind. Tell me more about their energy towards Leo. The Ace of Wands. God damn it! Don't tell me. <laughs> what does the front desk want? Yes. How may I help you? How may I help you, sir? I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Okay. What the fuck? What's up with that? Hey, sir. Yes, sir. How may I help you? Hi, this is, uh, I don't even know, some Arabic name. I'm, I'm in Dubai right now, and... And then, I don't know, what the fuck is And then I was like, I'm in the middle of something. How may I help you? Okay. Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for the interruption. So, let's see what's going on here. Leo, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> so,
So, Ace of Wands, what's going on? This is an interesting energy here. Ace of Wands, King of Wands. That's you coming here. All right, let's see. This is someone here taking action. Eight of Wands. All right, what is this individual's energy toward Leo? I want to get a specific, precise, dialed down energy. King of Coins. I told you they're interested. All right, Leo, look, this individual is interested, but look how this individual is just looking. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, all right? This individual is just in a contemplative energy. Contemplation, all right? They want to see what you're about. They're completely open to seeing what Leo has to bring to the offer. So please come forward here, all right? Match their energy. What is the probability of success in this situation? What is the probability of success in this situation? Mind you, Leo, I'm going to be taking this to the extended where I'm going to completely deconstruct this individual. I'm going to be looking into their feelings. I'm going to be looking into this individual's future vision of this relationship as of now, subject to change with time, right? And action. I'm also going to be looking at this individual's actions towards you this week, what to expect from this person. And then I'm going to be looking into the near future of where this is going, given the trajectory of the energies. But what is the probability of success here? Nine of Wands. Well, there is success. Let me explain to you what this means. You see this individual, they're holding one last rod. That is the ace. Okay, that is that last shot. Is it, I'm gonna give this one last shot. My leg got blown off in war, but I got one last leg and I got a king to walk with. So I'm gonna give it one last shot. I'm gonna pick myself up. I'm gonna brush my shoulders off and I'm going to give this another shot. That is the probability of this relationship. I know you would want to see rainbows and sunshines and happiness and that, but the truth of the matter is that this relationship must have undergone a cat catastrophe, ladies and gents. God damn. Even if it was petty, your person is not dealing with this situation too well. So, Leo, guys, I'll see you in the extended. It'll be linked in the description, or I will see you guys another time. Stay blessed.